prima di questo briefing ha anche affermato che era a conoscenza del fatto che alcuni membri del personale coinvolto nello studio di questi velivoli erano stati uccisi o feriti. In un certo senso ci chiediamo se il governo degli Stati Uniti abbia una fornitura di personale di serie C da sacrificare. From Air Force veterans who claim they were exposed to high levels of radiation while working near Area 51. And joining us tonight is Dave Crete, one of the veterans who says he was exposed to that radiation while guarding F-11 stealth bombers at the Nevada test range. Mr. Crete, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Natasha, for having me. And I know you say you have faced some serious health challenges after working at that test range. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience? So my experience was I was stationed out there from 83 to 87 and that my personal health issues are things like tumors. I have bad lungs. I have something called silicosis, which means scarring of my lungs from inhaling radioactive dust. Um, all of my kids have issues. They have birth defects and things that can be directly traced to it. And through conversations, we started finding out from the other guys that this is common. And now we look at it and a significant number, you know, it's anecdotal, but over half of the guys have either got serious health issues or have died that have been stationed out there. I'm so sorry to hear that. And I'm so sorry to hear about how this has impacted you and, and, and you say your family as well. Do you know what you were exposed to while working on that site? Yeah, the, the primary thing was plutonium 239, which from the testing, because they the testing was within visual range right outside the front gate of where we were. And then there was uranium, depleted uranium, beryllium, and all kinds of other stuff from things that they've done out there since World War II. Do you think the government knew and understood the risks and just didn't inform you? No, they absolutely knew. I have a government report that goes that was written in 1975. My base was built in 1979, and they said in 1975, the Tonopah test range is contaminated with plutonium and they went through a step of three different choices that they had and the final choice that they chose was we'll deal with the issues down the road because they essentially said the juice is worth the squeeze and that's in the government report the problem that i have and that my my fellow veterans and dod workers has is we were the future liability that they were planning on and that's not okay and then they deny us access to our benefits that any other veteran would get but to this day they say they still say that we were never there and i understand that you're suing hoping to be compensated for medical bills not just for yourself but for all of these veterans who are now saying they're suffering these issues um what do you want to see change when it comes to how veterans are taken care of after their service in this country well the, we're really not suing what we've requested and we we have a champion in congress mark amaday uh congressman from up in reno has helped us with getting a bill in draft so that we can not only this isn't about me i mean i used to think i was sick until i met the other guys and it's about making sure that if if the government decided it was okay to poison thousands of guys and their families well then they need to step up and take care of those guys because we have like on our website which is the invisibleenemy.org we have a running memorial that i started less than 6 months ago and last night the 245th guy died mm. that isn't okay it is not okay and dave i, I see now and understand uh, this is federal legislation that will be introduced and hopefully it, it will get bipartisan support um, to to put some financial support behind the veterans who are suffering dave final question what is the emotion behind this for you i mean you served this country what do you feel about this i served i'm proud everybody who worked out there is proud of what we did what we did was unique it was incredible but it's not okay to send people out there knowing what you're gonna do to them and then ignore them using a, the veil of secrecy to say, well, now we don't have to take care of you because you were never there. It's not okay. It's not okay that my kid has neurofibromatosis. Those aren't okay things. If, if you're gonna do something, at least step up and be responsible. And the government needs to be responsible. And I'm one of thousands. Dave, this is such an important story and I truly appreciate your time and your service. Dave Creed, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Think of that. What you knew, man, you guys are going to hell. You're going to go to hell. I don't even know if we need to do anything in this world because you are going to hell in the next world. Do you understand that? Crimes against humanity. Crimes against humanity. And everyone else, all your names.
are going to be in history. All the other people, your names are going to be in history. And you're going to go down as cowards and lying sacks of shit is what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. All of you guys. Crimes against humanity, man. Against 